हेलो स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू स्टैंडर्ड नाइन हिस्ट्री एंड पॉलिटिकल साइंस लेट अस कंटिन्यू द पॉलिटिकल साइंस लेसन वन पार्ट सिक्स पोस्ट वर्ल्ड वॉर पॉलिटिकल डेवलपमेंट इन दिस पार्ट वी विल सी पोस्ट कोल्ड वॉर वर्ल्ड द कोल्ड वॉर केम टू एन एंड with the disintegration of the soviet union which till then had a super power as a result major changes took place in the world's politics for example america remained the only super power in the world politics the second change was a conducive atmosphere prevailed for the growth in trade and economic relations between and among nations capital labor market and information circulated throughout the world ideas spread freely as well the third as all nations of the world decided to give priority to trade relations the idea of giving aids it means help aid which means help to other nations fell behind instead efforts began to be made to establish economic relations the description of a country which was opposed to another has now changed from enemy nation to rival nation the fourth change the responsibility of the united nation has increased the united nation now had to take more concrete step to maintain global peace and security so sole responsibility lied with the united states environmental i'm sorry the sole responsibility lies with the united nation the un environmental protection fostering of human rights gender equality and management of natural calamities now acquired a global dimension so let us see what is globalization uh in short we will say that it's the open market for all the nation but let us see in more detail what is globalization after the end of the cold war trade and economic relations between countries became more open as been mentioned before capital labor markets and information began circulating globally the give and take of ideas among people all over the world grew due to the revolution in information technology different events and development began to be known everywhere the boundaries between nations did not remain as sacrosanct as they were before all these processes are together called globalization so you will be asked a question in the ss examination write a short note on globalization then you must be able to write it exactly point wise so i will repeat the point once again first point the give and take of idea among the people all over the world grew number 2 due to the revolution in information technology different events and development began to be known everywhere point number 3 the boundaries between nations did not remain as sacrosanct as they were before point number 4 all these processes are together called globalization 
just as globalization has brought us benefit it had also caused losses for example as the economics of different countries got linked with each other trade increased economic unification grew plenty of products became available in the market but at the same time the gap between the poor and rich nation did not reduce in this chapter we studied the global development from 1945 onwards we understood the world in the cold war period the armed race and the effort at disarmament we also learned about the meaning of globalization in the next chapter we shall study india's foreign policy find out and participate find out about any two global organization that work for protecting the environment if you agree with their objective find out about opportunities for participation in some of these some of the activities so in this way my dear student we have come to an end of this lesson first of political science from right from 1945 till the end of global uh, till the end of uh, uh, the war cold war we have studied and then formation of the globalization also we have seen so please read the lesson properly write the exercises if you have any doubts please comment below till then all the best have a nice day